All right, y'all, so this video is kind of going to be more of a motivational video and kind of a story time um, for a lot of my YouTubers out there who's struggling to grow or who's had some success. Maybe the channel slowed down. Maybe you don't understand or know what's going on and things like that. I just want to basically explain to you all some of my experience with what goes on on YouTube and give you all a new perspective on things. Um, but before we jump into it, I do want to let you all know that I'm very appreciative to those of you who continue to buy my course. Um, it means a lot. I have now released my coaching as well. So I will be walking you all through your own channels and showing you your own data analytics and all this stuff and what exactly it means. And I can pinpoint exactly what needs to be improved and, and give you all some suggestions and stuff on what you can do to actually improve that and to show you how to research yourself so moving forward you can do your own research and understand how quick and easy it is it shouldn't take analyzing your own channel like once you know what you're doing it takes less than five minutes like truthfully but if you have never done it before if you don't know the things to look at to look for what they mean I, it can be a very a very tough thing it could take you it could take you years to figure out how to read it and that's the thing like it's so simple once you know like once you crack the youtube but it, it, it's it's so difficult if you haven't got it figured out. So, yeah, that being said, let's, let's get into the topic, man. It, and it's not letting YouTube break you. The algorithm is ever-changing. It's constantly changing. One, thing, one day something works, one day that same thing doesn't work. One day your views is up, one day your views is down. You have to understand that on this platform, you got to just charge to the game and just keep working. Keep being focused. Keep going hard. And, and also keep an eye on your analytics because when things do start to change, the, an the analytics will kind of show you what's different and what's starting to happen if you know how to actually read through your own analytics. That That's something that will show you. But also, I feel like for me and what I've experienced throughout YouTube, one of the toughest things can be your own subscribers. Um, I Like right now, even with me doing content like this, if you notice this channel that I'm on right now, if you actually look at the channel and some of the content, these videos get a lot less views than my other content. So I've had old subscribers or, or subscribers who are here for my other content literally come on my videos, try to, ah, ha, ha, yo, you don't get views doing this. Stick to something else. Not even realizing that it's done by design. And that's that's what I started to notice. A lot of people just talk and hate out of ignorance. They, they have no idea that I'm smart enough and capable enough to know exactly how to make sure my subscribers don't get these videos and it goes exactly to the people who needs these videos the most. That's literally what I'm doing with this content. So I don't, I make sure my subscribers are never even sent these type of videos in the first place. So when, when you see one of my old subscribers come through the channel, Oh, ha ha ha. He, 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 you fell off. Not realizing this whole time that no, the, everybody you see on these videos, they're not even subscribed to me. Most of the people who are watching this are not even subscribed to me. They, they've never seen me before. This is by design. I don't want to sit here and give this type of content to the audience that I built on this channel because even though they somewhat overlap, overlap because this is a finance channel, this is also very, very geared towards growing on YouTube and me helping people who need it the most, which is basically other content creators who's trying to make a way on the platform. So yeah, and that leads into the story that really changed my mind and perspective when it comes down to YouTube. I was I was getting a lot of hate on one of my channels. I, I've been through a lot of stuff. Like literally, I got exposed for one thing on one of my channels. I think I was playing a game and I ran it mid. And basically, if you don't know what that means, that means you said, screw your team. I'm just going to feed the enemy team a bunch of kills. I'm going to let them kill me a bunch of times because my team was annoying me. I got exposed for that and somebody gained 100,000 subscribers simply off of exposing me. That That's crazy. Like that... And, and that, so I've been through a lot of hate. I've been through a lot of ups and downs, trials and tribulations on the YouTube platform. So yeah, it's a lot of, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff that I can share with you. But the thing that really changed my perspective is that I was on vacation with a friend of mine and me and her was chilling. We was having a good time. I had a beautiful woman on my side. We're, we're, we're eating, we're going out on, on, um, on those little ATVs, we're going out on on boat rides, all type of stuff. We were we were in Dominican Republic, and I'll notice that I'm my phone is getting blew up, and people are still talking and hating and all of these things, saying a bunch of crazy stuff to me. 
Oh, you'll never be successful. You'll never this. You'll never this. That whole time I'm on an island with a beautiful woman. And when I realized, yo, even though I'm not in the same setting people are used to seeing me in and no one even knows that I'm out of town enjoying my life right now, living my best life, they're still going. That, that made me realize no matter what, no matter what you're doing, people just are going to talk. People are going to have an opinion. People are going to express things about you and they don't even know you. Like people say nonsense just to kick you down. See, the thing that hurts about somebody saying you'll never be successful is when you're not successful. But I've heard you'll never be successful so many times at the peaks of my career that it's like, what, what are they talking about? Like the, the, these people really don't know nothing. And that's why you have to understand, don't let YouTube and don't let these people on the platform break you and break your spirit. Keep going. All you have to do is keep posting on to the next video. Analyze every single video. See what you did great. See what you could do better and understand what people are not liking about your videos and just slowly start to improve it and work on it. Screw the comments. Screw what people are saying. Screw any of that. Don't let that stuff bother you and get to you. Just focus on growing. People will have an opinion of you one way or another. Don't care if your friends see your videos. Don't care about any of that. At least you're getting up every day grinding and working towards a positive goal. You're working trying to change your life. And the opportunity is definitely worth it. Because once you crack that code, once you figure it out, you're going to be so thankful that you finally did. Because it, it is, I'm not going to say it's easy. It's, it's very difficult to build a YouTube channel, but it's easy to sustain once you have one. Once you have an audience, once you have a, a support system that likes your content and views your content, it's very easy to, you know, keep that going. So you have to understand that people sometimes misunderstand you. They don't they don't take the time to understand everyone. People make a decision off on if they like you in seconds most times. Like people don't even have to really know you at all and they'll judge you. They'll judge you based on your appearance. They'll judge you based on a lot of things. Like they like for instance, you see somebody like me, like I'm not super groomed or anything like that. I'm not high effort putting in a lot, a lot of effort trying to look my best in these videos. If you go across a lot of my videos, I'm usually just wearing a black tee and I'm wearing my jacket. That's pretty much what goes on in all my video. Or I got another hoodie that I wear. I have a Nike hoodie that I wear. And those are the things that's most comfortable for me. I just chill and wear the stuff that I like to wear. So people think whatever they want to think based on appearance, but that does not have any bearing whatsoever on the value of the things that I say. And that's, that's the, like, if I was in a suit and tie and I had a bunch of jewelry and things like that and I looked a, certain, a different way, like, it would attract more eyes off, off rip just because people will assume I know what I'm talking about because I'm wearing a suit. But what I've found in life and what I like to live by is that I get the results that other people talk about. I get the results that people are trying to sell to other people. I actually get that. I actually have a provable track record in history that I can show off. I don't need to sit here and try to sell you with my appearance or anything like that because you'll know when you watch one of my videos, you take a piece of that advice, you implement it, and you start to grow and you start to see success. Or you, you hop in a coaching call with me, I walk you through your channel and I literally break it down in a way you ain't never even looked at it or something like that. It's like the value that someone has speak for itself once you give them a chance. And that's what I live by. Somebody who would judge me off rip instantly, don't care. That person doesn't matter to me because that person is so small minded. Like, and it's crazy. At the peaks of my success, the, the very highest peaks of my success, People will judge you and look down on you because of things like your appearance. And whole time, you could look like the next guy, but you're far more successful than the next guy and people wouldn't, wouldn't even notice because they equate buying things and items with success. And that couldn't be farther from the truth because a lot of people put more on, the, on their aesthetics and, and more in all these other places than they actually put taking the time to develop true skill. So a lot of people may look like they're more knowledgeable and know things and stuff like that, but then you actually hear who I am, you look at my channels, you 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 find out the things that I've been able to accomplish and you're like, yo, who who is this guy? It doesn't look like that. And I love that, I love I love that. Like, I don't get it twisted when I do actually put effort into my appearance and stuff like that. It's nice, it's cool, but I'm a hardworking guy. I don't got time to be sitting here getting a cut for who? To impress who? For what? Like on, on a special occasion, okay, 
okay, I, I'll go, I'll go, you know, groom a little bit. But I stay in the house, work on a computer, and I'm very focused on on building something long lasting. So yeah, that being said, that's that's pretty much it. Um, don't let this platform and the people and their tendencies break you. You can be very successful and extremely profitable on this platform. You just give it a chance, give it time. Um, that, that's that's pretty much it though. Thank you all for coming through, watching the content as always. And yeah, recommend some more topics you all want me to cover. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.